The initiative seeks to harness the potential of youths with disability, offering them tailored support to unlock their entrepreneurial spirit and secure meaningful employment opportunities. We are providing 3.1 billion shillings, Uganda shillings, for the next three years. This money is going to help to take talented youth. You said the criteria that the criteria is talented and there is a criteria to it. Talented youth, and we are taking 270 talented youth who are disabled into a journey of capacity building. So they'll, they'll be built skills, capacity, courage, confidence, professional capabilities, leadership capabilities. With a focus on inclusivity, the program aims to break down barriers and create an environment where every individual, regardless of their disability, can thrive and contribute to the socio-economic development of the region. We still want to ensure that persons with disability have the skills, are able to be employed, are also able to make businesses for themselves. Because one of the challenges in the country, in Uganda, is that People with disability undergo discrimination, even at family level. Speaking at the launch, representatives from Standard Chartered Bank and Site Savers highlighted the transformative impact of the program, emphasizing its role in empowering marginalized youth and fostering economic inclusion. We make them create jobs. Those who have businesses are also able to employ others. And this is the model we are, we are, we are taking. Because the previous models were that you give people cash, as the minister said, people go and eat it. But we are saying, we give the skills, we connect them to microfinance institutions, then they get loans and then they are able to, to run their businesses. Our bigger commitment is really to build capacity of 100,000 youth to be employable. So we're doing a lot of work, particularly women, disabled individuals is going to be our focus areas. We've also committed that we're going to work with enabling in different forms about 50,000 entrepreneurs. Remember, they are the engine of the growth in this country. Emphasizing the importance of self-reliance and resilience, the minister urged participants to embrace the resources and support provided, saying it will help them to realize their full potential and pursue their dreams. Build yourself your potential. You know what you have. Use it for the best of benefiting you, not the person who's looking at your disability. Because you have to build the, break the barriers of disability in order to benefit into the program. And once you succeed, Nobody calls you a disabled because you know this is money. You have money in your pocket, nobody calls you a disabled. I am a disabled minister, but because I also have money, they call me minister, honorable minister. Nobody calls me honorable mulema. As the program gets underway, stakeholders remain optimistic about its potential to catalyze lasting change, paving the way for more inclusive and prosperous future for all members of society. Oh, 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 oh